Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use the company cash flow planner spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will be useful if you are an owner of a small business company that want to see performance of your financial situation day by day. Also, if you manage a service company that rely on monthly customer payment because here you can put your invoice that you send to your customer monthly and see how uh, all of those invoice can cover all of your company expenses Also, you can see all of your inputs uh, weekly. This is a different from the monthly cash flow planner, where you can also get it into this package because the money on the cover until maximum until up to six items per month, while this weekly. Cash for planner can cover until uh, until thirty input. This is uh, showing this because the column is not big enough to show the tape format correctly. In the this company cash for planner there. Have uh, basically four tables. The first one is income by month. If you want to put your invoice or income, which is a uh, record equal uh, every month, and also there is income by table. It will be useful if. You have invoices or income that you receive at particular day each week. For example, you receive payment every Monday, every week. So in 52 weeks, you basically you will receive 52 payment. And this will be cover until 52 weeks, as you can see here. Yeah, 52 weeks, but uh, there are. 53 to cover all one year. There are two tables for expenses. It has similar format with income table. So how to fill this? If you just type a description, for example, I can type the invoice number. So the invoice number one and then I will grab the invoice where all the car at the fifth and the amount is same for example five hundred then you can type it. So once you type this this Amount and also the description will be shown in this weekly tab. Remember, you type that every week. So, this is where we are. The input. So, there are four thousand here. So, this is the income. So, it will record every week. So, if you want this in February. But since this is it, weekly base, you can put uh, it on the file. If you see a better, okay, one second. Okay. And then, uh, this is if the invoice is based on month. 
Also, if there are exceptions, we can just put cross in here. For example, jewelry, it is going to spoil it because maybe the customer can use your services at that month or anything. Or, if the amount, for example, one of your customer is upgrading their services, we can change and also the due date is 10 to 10 but the current price increases to so you can see still this weekly the previous set is so you can see that uh, the invoice 1, 2, 3, 4 then 6, 7, 8, 9 because the fees only at credit that the payment will be uh, done in 10 and the amount is changed. And also there are a uh, balance visualization here. This is where you can see the situation of your financial monthly and also weekly. Monthly, weekly, and of course daily because it is based on this where the threshold you can specify, you can customize based on your own preference. So this is will be very useful if uh, your company is really rely on uh, daily cash flow to manage uh, your uh, and when, if you have just tight budget here, that's what I want to say. You have a tight budget and you want to manage all day by day, you need to see which one need to be shifted, which expenses, which your payment needs to be shifted or it needs to be delayed, and with employees that you need, uh, where you may ask your people to push your client to pay it at the due date or something like that. Okay, now back to the income by month. So what is the income by month? Here, yeah. the list is uh, similar. For example, I want to continue the input number is uh, number 11. The subcategory and category basically optional. So this is for it. But uh, this could maybe on every Monday every Monday or oh, every Monday probably you can change uh, this every Tuesday and then morning in the ferry with a hundred there so it will include every Monday and Tuesday and this will be Monday and Tuesday, you can see Monday is this employee next Monday okay, because it's uh, fall on 5th so there are monthly invoices that also uh, due and, all, and also this uh, the weekly invoices if there are exceptions I mean the, for example this is one, uh, this invoice number 11 only being paid on the uh, uh, even week. For example, it only happened to uh, week 2, week 4, so you can put the cost in two. So it will record every 2 weeks. What about if only once? If there's only one, you can just like do it like this. Okay, four, okay, and so once for every four weeks. That's what I have to do. 
what about if there is an invoice that only page once? If only page one, you can maybe put in the month here and do exception like this for 11 months or you can put just one for maybe invoice invoice number 30 where it will be paid maybe on June 6 and the amount is maybe very big or thousand something like that this one Let's see again. Uh, in this space only. So let's see where the exception week two, week three, see week two, week five. So you can see how the invoices are spread. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's because I'm using. My computer got crash, so I'm using uh, my old laptop where the resolution is lower than my current laptop that has been crash. But it's maybe you can you can adjust it by yourself if you experience similar. Uh, Similar condition. Okay, your summary is still positive because you, you haven't put any expenses. If you see that there are blue and red border, that's specifically a holiday event that you, that you can specify here. You can, put, you can put any date and you can put description here. It's just to guide you that there's a holiday and a date that you might do something. For example, when you can put the on office holiday day where there is no payment that can be made or invoice uh, or anything. So, what about this part is still the same, but since I don't want to type it one by one, I will just copy it. I will just copy it from Prefish. exception you can put in here you can put like maybe in this all maybe you don't want to spend anything on office supply from February like on February the expenses and also on March something like that also on weekly it's part time oil on Friday not usual also on Friday uh, that you can put in like this because that will fall on Friday so you just put exception on uh, the week because you just want to do it once every Friday in the first or any time 